Day 75 of lockdown and the lockdown hair is really coming along, I think you'll agree. Now, you may have noticed that I didn't put out a video yesterday and to the untrained eye, it might look like I missed a day, but let me tell you why I technically did not. So the deal was that I put out a video every weekday while we're in lockdown, right? Well, yesterday I actually had to go into school. I had to go into my normal workplace and do a, well, completely abnormal workday, but I had to leave the house and do like my real job. So I'm to chalk that up as not being in lockdown and therefore let myself off the hook for not putting a video up yesterday. But anyway, the point of today's video is not just to explain why there was no video yesterday, it is to tell you about my friend Champ Thornton. So you remember about a month ago I made a video called A Day in the Life, which was about like just whatever I happened to be doing that day. And that morning I had to get up really early to record a podcast with my friend Champ and today that podcast is out. I'll put a link in the description to my episode in case you want to have a listen, but I just, I would recommend the podcast altogether. Every episode, Champ has somebody on to talk about a favorite verse from the Bible. So for my episode, I brought Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7, which is all about like how we handle anxiety and how we should pray about stuff instead of worrying about stuff. But it was funny, as I was listening back to a preview of it earlier in the week, I was like, this is good stuff. And it's not that I'm some amazing Bible genius or whatever, it's just that I can be really forgetful about what's true. And so to hear someone, even if it's my own voice from the past, reminding me that God is faithful even in difficult times was good for me to hear. So maybe it'll be good for you to hear as well. But mostly today, I just want to talk to you about Champ because he is like one of the nicest people I've ever met and I've never even met him. So he lives in the States, I live in Sydney and so we are separated by half a world and also by a global pandemic currently. But the reason I know him at all is because when I wrote this book, Best News Ever, my publisher sent him a copy to review and Champ got back to them with this really lovely, generous quote that they put on the back of the book. So off the back of that, we started getting to know each other over email and Zoom and stuff and he is just one of the nicest people I've ever come across. Like there's this bit in the Bible that talks about how the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As in like those are the way that God promises to help you grow to be more like him as you follow Jesus. And Champ is one of those people who is just like living proof that that stuff's not made up. Like he just has these incredible gifts of kindness and encouragement. Like you know those people who whenever you're talking to them, they just have this way of making you feel like you really matter to them. Like if they could do literally anything they wanted in that moment, it would be talking to you. Champ has that thing. He also wrote a blurb for my Big Questions series in which he said that Chris Morphew is like Tim Keller for teens, which if you know who Tim Keller is, that's like the kindest possible thing that someone could say about books like this. Anyway, Champ, if you're watching, you are such a good one. I'm so grateful for your friendship and your encouragement. And it is those kinds of qualities that make him an excellent podcast host as well. So cycling back to the point of all of this, go listen to his podcast. It's great. It'll encourage you. It'll help you to understand the Bible better. It'll remind you of the incredible love that God has for you. And even if you don't believe any of that stuff, Go listen anyway, it might just change your mind. There's also another thing that Champ is working on that it is absolutely none of my business to tell you about, but I will say that I will talk about it when I can talk about it because it's super cool and I think you will like this thing. Is that vague enough? That feels vague enough. Anyway, in the word, on the go, go listen to it. The episodes are like 10 minutes, you guys. You've got 10 minutes. If you've got time to watch this video, you got 10 minutes. Also, you might notice that this video did not in fact have a terrible clickbaity thumbnail like I said I was gonna do every day this week, but A, obviously I could not do my friend Champ like that, and B, I did two of them and I just felt dirty. So we're, we're just, we're canceling the experiment. We're going back to normal thumbnails. That's the real experiment result, you guys. Can Chris go a whole week of posting gross clickbait thumbnails? Apparently he cannot. 